Hey everybody, welcome back to Going Ballistic. We are your research and destruction channel. And today this is a shout out on this extremely windy day to all you roofers and paver guys that have to deal with tar. Two thumbs up to all of you who do that. Thank you for what you do. All right, so this is revenge for, uh, for all you guys on tar. So what we got here is we were wondering how much cold tar does it take to stop a bullet? So these cans, we filled these up with tar and they have been on ice since last night, since about nine o'clock. So they are nice and cold and we just wanna see what rounds will go through it. So this is what we got for you today. Not a whole lot of talking, but hey, quick, remember $10 t-shirt, free laser engraved 50 cal brass only on this channel. So let's take a closer look at these freedom seed spreaders that we'll be using on this video today. And I want your comment. If these are the only four rifles in the world, which one would you use? You have to pick one of these, comment below. Let's get started. Hey everybody, it's so good to be back on this channel shooting some stuff. Enough of my vacation in Florida. So right now we're going to be shooting this Chinese SKS 76239. This is going to be a full metal jacket. And comment below to see how many we can get through this. And then also comment to see if the penetration would be more or less if the tar was, I guess, room temperature or hot. Oh jeez, the wind is blowing me so bad. Ooh, gross. Holy cow. The lid's way over there. <laughs> Clear. <laughs> okay, so it's slowly oozing out the first one. He hit under the 50 BMG. And just, I didn't expect this for the second one, and I was hoping to have a better cleanup than this, like we could recycle some of this, but I, we might not be able to. Well, anyways, it went through the second, destroyed it, and into the third, and that's it. All right, that was eight cans. It went into the third. Well, I don't want this all over me. So we're going to have to move one back and move on. Here we go. All right, so now it's time for 762-54R out of this Romanian PSL. I'm sure you've seen in the previous videos or as Chris calls it, the pumpkin spice latte. All right, mag's in there. So make sure you comment, see how many we can go through. I think it's gonna be relatively similar, but you know, who knows? This is also another full metal jacket. <laughs> of course, another mess. Hopefully they didn't get the cameras. Whoops. Clear. Okay, these second cans don't stand a chance. Um, I'm sure it's just fragments that are going into the third can. Pop that lid off. Destroyed the second can. 
I thought it would do a lot better cold tar. So we are gonna have to do a warm tar video as well. But we we're putting these patches on to try to stop the, uh, uh, the well, losing all the tar. <laughs> and it's not working. But that's okay. It, this is research and destruction all in the same video. So, okay. And I'm sure the Saudis will just sell this back to us later when they take over our country. All right, we're on to, uh, let's do the 30 out six. I, hopefully there's something left for the 50. <laughs> so here we go. All right, now we're on to 30 out six. This is gonna be a soft point. I didn't have any full metal jackets out of my favorite cordless hole punch, the M1 Garand. Chris just almost ate it tripping over the tripod. Shut up. He makes me laugh. Okay, Binky. All right, let's do it. Come on, wind. I love that sound. Let's go check it out. All right, that was cool. That soft point did more damage to the front can. Good shot right here. Um, you can see this is some good cold tar. It is moving nice and slow, but it is not all that great at stopping bullets. Now, there was only these two here and so it did stop it, it did not go. I'm gonna hate this, but here we go. Nope, it's not a hole. All right, so the soft point 30-06 only went through two cans. That's pretty amazing. Which I'm so glad, because now we have something left for the 50 we are gonna shoot one of those brass, solid brass rounds, because I'm sure this is our last shot, guys. And it might even hit our RTS um, level three body armor here in the back. I don't know. Here we go. So this one's gonna rock my brain, huh? This one's gonna rock your brain. You remember how hard those kick. So now onto the 50. I know you guys are waiting for this. I was really hoping Chris was out of these solid brass ones. They're just so heavy. I forget what they weigh, but the recoil is just insane. Snot will come out of your nose. Yeah, snot will definitely probably, my sinuses will probably get voided. <laughs> but the recoil is intense compared to a standard 50 BMG. Oh man, I should have stretched a little bit more. You ready? Yeah. Oh. God. That was a mess. I'm pretty sure it's on the camera. Cameras. Clear. Oozing real slow here. Oh, we're going to have a lot of cleanup on this one. And yes, people, we will clean this up. We leave our casings and brass. Or that's the same thing. Our casings and other stuff around here. But this stuff we will pick up. So don't freak out. Uh, check this out. See, nice cold tar. It is moving really slow. You know, that thing might still be in one of those because it didn't come out this one if this was the second to the last. This is the last one and it's still holding up. Still got some in it. But it did hit it with some force, blew our sandbags uh, down. You know, we'll get this out of here. And because we don't like to disappoint, forget it. Because we don't like to disappoint, we're gonna hit this last can. Oh my God. <laughs> Maybe it went through the table, Justin. <laughs> There's a huge hole there I did not notice. That's insane. All right, well, 
since we're going to be out here shoveling up dirt for a long time, we're going to shoot the last one because we love you guys. So here we go. Uh, all right. All right. So we couldn't just let that one can survive. You know, what are we going to do with it? So we're going to shoot it. So we got an extra spotter tracer laying around. Let's see if it's solid enough to set this thing off or if it's going to be the sandbags or if it just keeps going through. You good? Oh my god, it dropped the whole table. <laughs> that is hilarious. Table's on the ground. Clear. What a mess. Cool. <laughs> yeah, we definitely need a table sponsor, Justin. This is our last good table. And we were using this tar preservative on it, hoping it would stay for a while, but it's not. It's gone. Oh. This was a research and disgusting project. So tell me guys, comment below, how do you get tar out of your clothes? <laughs> These are my favorite pants and now they got squigglies on it. Anyways, we wanna thank again, all of you guys, all of you guys that have to work with this messy stuff, roofers, pavers, anybody else. Thank you guys for what you do. Don't forget to check out our Instagram page. Thank you to our patrons and we'll be back. We're out of here. Go get the shovel, Justin. <laughs>